actually a city of Valdosta case. It is CU 2015-02 Kelly <coughs> Barkle. Any staff that you will present? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm basically pulling up the, the next slide. Um, this is a conditional use request uh, for J.C. Shack Road. Um, our proposal is to split off approximately five acres from the total tract. Um, that is 62 acres. Um, it's about halfway between Northside Drive and the front of the road. Um, which is a pretty long stretch, which means it is about 1,500 feet south of it in front of the road. You see the zoning is currently split between R10 and ER. Churches are allowed by conditional use in the R10 portion, and that is the portion of this property that they're proposing to develop as a church facility. In your packet, of course, you have these maps. You also have site plans. Um, let's see. Here's your site plan. It shows about a 15,000 square foot building. Um, the site has not been engineered yet. Um, all those utilities are somewhat of an issue here. The city has water service along J.C. Shack Road, which they will tie into. Um, Albert sewer service is some distance away, and they would have to connect over by a very small force main to the nearest manhole, which is about 800 feet off to the west. Um, comprehensive plan buys, this is designated as established residential. As we discussed at the work session last week, we recall we described this as a holding pattern, sort of temporarily as a default. We already have a lot of residential zoning in the area, and so established residential is the defined character. Staff believes that over time, J.C. Shack Road will not be a single family residential corridor, but something of a little higher density residential, perhaps in the way of online offices, multi-family, and maybe commercial at the two ends. Um, but in the meantime, this is proposed as an institutional use, which as you know, fits pretty well with the residential and even the commercial environment. Um, so the use seems to fit very well here. Um, Picture-wise, subject property is heavily wooded. And I've added a couple slides. This is the view of the Dow J.C. Shack Road. This is looking north and looking south. It looks pretty much the same. There is literally no development right around this immediate area. Uh, if and when Belker Church will become the first development here and probably start setting the pattern. Staff has found a consistent with a conference plan on a conditional use review criteria, and we're recommending approval subject to a few conditions, which are there on your cover page. The conditions are three. The first one is conditional use approval shall be granted for a church facility in our county with church related assessment uses. Total building area for the facility shall not exceed 40,000 square feet. Any expansions beyond this point shall require reapproval by the city. I was attempting to be generous at about two and a half times as much building as what is being currently proposed. Uh, we have lots of room to grow into in the future. Our concern if it gets much beyond that, um, we would think that would be several years down the road. We want to at least take another look at the development pattern in this area. Number two, signs for the property shall adhere to those standards allowed in RP. RT currently has, excuse me, R10 currently has very strict signage requirements. Our piece seems to be the more logical pattern in terms of signage along this road, so we're going with that. And number three is the expiration date. Conditional use approval shall expire after 10 years from the date of approval if no request for a building permit has been submitted by that date. Um, and that's as generous as we have ever been with an expiration date, given the nature of the use in this area in particular. 10 years is like a pretty good benchmark. But answer any questions? Commissioners, any questions for staff? Commissioner Willis? I one more I'm curious. Let's assume they, they build a 20,000 square foot building and then they come back and say they want a, uh, say they want to move and have a fellowship. As long as they stay within that 20,000 square foot, would they be able to build a second building or is it all going to be? Uh, 40,000 people. So people. Because of a whole facility, not just yeah. one building, but a facility. Yeah. And, they, and by my estimation, they could fit more than twice that, 40 anyway. Um, you see yeah. church is a template. Um, there's a lot you can get on five acres. Any other questions for staff on this application? There be none. Is there anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward at this time. Hey, yes, sir, please state your name and your address for the record, please. My name is Kelly Barkle. Address is 3926 Confine Drive, uh, 31605. And I just want to say that uh, thanks 
to the city plan, you've done a great job, and I think this is a terrific idea. <laughs> <laughs> Any question for the presenter? I'm not out of here yet. I got one, you're going to be the pastor. Uh, I'll be on staff, volunteer staff. Volunteer, I'm volunteer. Any other questions for the presenter? From Commissioner? Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Anybody else wish to speak in favor of this request, please come forward. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Steve Gupton, 5750 Alza Road. Uh, Dr. James Allen and I have owned this property for a long time, and we've been waiting to try to develop it in a harmonious manner, and this is the first approach we've had from somebody that wants to put what we feel is a good use for this property. So I appreciate you so much. Any questions for the presenter? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward. Here wishing to speak in favor of this request? If not, anyone here wishing to speak in denial of this request? Anyone here wishing to speak in denial of this request? Here's to be none. Commissioner Janelle. Conversation amongst ourselves. We need to have this request. Everybody good? If so, we will take a motion at this time with the request. Mr. Chair, I make the record of this uh, <coughs> CU 2015-02 uh, city council. have a motion from Commissioner Hall to approve. Do I have a second? I second. have a second. With the condition. With the condition. With the condition. With the condition. Can you get that just for a moment? We have a motion with the conditions and a second on the table, on the floor. So if you will, show up right here for all of us to approve this request. It is also unanimous. Carmella 8-0. 